I'm going to show you how you can install the open source intelligence sort of a hacking tool to track information about the phone numbers that might be harassing or calling you or whatever else. And don't be worried, we're not really hacking, we're just using a free tools that will save us some time to collect uh, necessary information that later can be used for some bad purposes, which we're not going to do. So to start us out, first of all, we need uh, some sort of the Linux virtual machine. And uh, I will be using a CentOS 9 stream deploy deployed on the digital ocean. It doesn't really matter. Whatever works for you. And uh, then the first thing that we need to do is uh, install a Docker like we will have to install the utility which is called phone in foga um, there are multiple ways how you can do that as it usually goes with a linux um, software or whatever but uh, the easiest I, I really think is the docker centos 9 doesn't have a docker available out of the box so we will have to install it and to install it what we do is basically go to the google and straightforward search for how to install a Docker engine on the CentOS 9. And you will get to the official page of the Docker where you can just copy paste the commands. I won't be running this because this is a fresh system of CentOS 9. And I'm quite sure that there are no previous Docker installations. So the only thing that we will have to do is we need to install yum utils. I will just copy paste the commands. It's not, there we go. This will get up and running in a second. Then the second command, yum config manager. So we're basically adding the official repository of the Docker. Uh, copy paste, done. Control clean. Next step is to actually install the Docker. Plus it is also suggesting to install all the related um, components, but basically we're just interested in the Docker CE, which is a community edition, which means that it is free. I will add minus yes at the end. And uh, well, this one considering my internet speed could take up, I don't know, a couple of seconds, we'll see. So it looks like we're done with the Docker and uh, well, the only thing that we need to do is uh, start it. So systemctl start uh, Docker, uh, there we go, just Docker. Docker is started. Now we need to, uh, we need to deploy our phone in Foga on the, on our virtual machine. And to do that, you just need to go to the Google phone in Foga, uh, then open the first page inside a GitHub. Then we are looking for documentation and in the documentation, we need uh, getting started. And as I previously said, there are like quite of many ways how you can get this up and running. You can do the binary installation, you can do the homebrew, uh, you can uh, compile from the sources, whatever else, but all of that is too complicated. Um, the best thing that we can do is uh, just pull from the Docker container, uh, which we just installed here. So I will copy paste, uh, sorry, copy paste the command. And uh, this again can take a couple of seconds done. And uh, then we basically already can test some sort of the numbers. So when we already have a uh, phone in Foga um, container pulled and installed on our CentOS system, we can already try to uh, check information about some some phone numbers. And uh, let's do the Zabbix for the example. Um, there should be a phone number somewhere here. Uh, Zabbix phone, there we go. Uh, we also need an area code, but we don't need a plus sign as far as I know. So basically just uh, take this command, replace the number, replace all the dashes with uh, just just the numbers in a row, copy paste and click enter. So this is all the information that we are getting from phone and Foga and uh, social media information, which basically is uh, Google dork attempts, uh, disposable providers, same about a Google dorks, reputation, individuals, generals, and results for the local information. So we can find out that the country is uh, um, Latvia and, and uh, 
yeah, international international number. But the most interesting information probably is exactly from the Google Dorks. The only problem that it's not really uh, so easy to understand what is happening from the CLI. But it's important that there also is a way how you can install the graphic user interface for phone and Foga, and then it will all make sense. So bear with me a couple of seconds, we will install the graphic user interface. Okay, so to install the graphic user interface, the command is very similar as we did before. Uh, we need to docker run minus IT, but this time we're also uh, serving the HTTP port and uh, in that through our web browser, we'll actually access the graphic user interface. So we can click this listening on a port 8080. Uh, everything should be good now. We can proceed. Uh, I just need to check uh, what is the IP address of my virtual machine? It's uh, my, uh, give me a second. I will copy paste this. 161243. Paste it here, 8080. And then we will start the same Docker command, Docker run on a port 8080. Listening on a port, good. We can go back to the browser click enter and uh, what we see we see a phone in foga where we can actually do the same stuff like latvia uh, where is our zabbix uh, phone number we can find it here above everything else that we did previously copy paste click here remove the spaces i think we oh no it's, it's fine to keep them look up and uh, there we go so this is the information that we see right away, basically the same that we got in the terminal, but you can also click run for the Google dorks and let's say the social media, everything that we can can find. So no matches for this one. Uh, let's say reputation, um, entitled phone fraud. So we can search whether this phone number was um, found in in the phone fraud context before or we can do like uh, who called us whether this phone is uh, available here so basically when you are actually dealing with some scanner scammer phone calls you can find uh, quite a many interesting information so here we can find that there is a company uh, named Zabbix registered with this with this phone number so whenever someone is poking you and calling from who knows what instead of just uh, manually doing some searches you can quickly install the phone in Foga and gather all the possible information that you can find in the internet and yeah by the side when when you write when you run this you can also see um what kind of http codes you are getting and what uh, what the web actually is doing